We are about to start Season 6 with this wonderful team. I can't wait to get started. Hey guys, welcome back to the Man FM. Let's start this season off with a bang by smashing the like button and let me know in the comments below how you think this season will go. How far do you think we'll get in the Champions League? I've been trying something different in the past seasons where I tried to get through them quicker, but I asked you guys what you thought and you guys prefer shorter gaps in between the episodes. So that's what we're going to do this season and continuing on. I have a lot to update you on and firstly, we have completed the objective of having the best youth system in the country. Two years ahead of schedule. We'll hopefully be able to bring through some of the best young talent in the country and have them play for Willem. We continue to grow the club. We have expansions on the amount of coaching staff we have, the amount of scouting staff we have, and we have even signed Cristiano Ronaldo as a coach. Yeah, he's at Willem now as well. We are now 11th in the European places ranking up 10 positions so we're improving the reputation of this team and sponsorships have also increased over the last season as well which is really really cool to see we've had a fair bit of transfer activity in the off season most of it actually being guys leaving the club man united came in for tim ronning they came in with a pretty rubbish bid to be honest i rejected it tim ronning was not happy with that he wanted to go to united so they came back in with an offer we negotiated it and he has now left for 60 something million that could rise to 83 million which I think was quite good. I know I have not been the best managing this club financially with all the installments of players that I've bought so I'm trying to be a bit more clever with how I get money in with transfers. So unfortunately Tim has left the club. Another sale is Adil Anucci. I'm not going to miss saying that name but I'll miss the player. He was a young French player. He was playing really well for us. Again, it was another situation where the player wanted to leave, wanted to go. So he has left us for 45 million that could rise to 56 million. Joey Veerman has left as well. He didn't really play that much for me. We got a decent bid in from Torino for him. So yeah, he's gone as well. Wilfred Nonto has left for Italy as well. He's gone to Roma for 19 million. I was actually quite disappointed with his output. He played 11 games for us, only the one goal. So I was quite happy to, to sell this guy. And we have some loans that have went out as well, but that is the main guys that have left the club. Carlos Quintero is still currently at Willem, however Spurs have came in for 65 million for him. What would you guys do? Would you sell this guy for 65 million? I have some other good midfielders that can replace him, but he's just a physical beast. 18 acceleration, 18 agility, 18 balance, 18 stamina. He just got some crazy physicals. 65 million from Tottenham. Would you do it? The main ins are Francisco Mexido. He is going to be a backup goalkeeper. I was worried when Ronning left us. The other keeper option we had was a 17 year old and I wasn't going to go through the entire season relying on a 17 year old in goals. So we have Francisco Mexido coming in just as a backup. He cost me 3 million. And this is the main goalkeeper that's coming in to replace Ronning. Drago Uzlak. Coming in from Lask, 25 million he cost me, which I think is a good deal. He looks pretty good, so I'll be curious to see how he gets on in the season. You'll notice I've not gone over the top with signings this year. We've got a really good team already. And I spent a lot on SMS, I spent a lot on Zaniolo, and I don't think there was much needed to improve this squad. However, this guy I have been chasing for the last three seasons, he wanted to leave. It's just whenever I put an offer in, AZ were being ridiculous with what they wanted. They wanted a hundred odd million for him. He wanted to leave, he wanted to come to us. Eventually, he made his way onto the transfer list and I got him. Mustafa Azim, a defender, a really, 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 really good defender. Really excited to see what he does. I'm currently training him as a libero because we are now going to use him as a libero in the tactic. 18 passing, 16 vision, ridiculous attributes for a defender. So this is a tactic we're going to use for the season. It's very very similar to the one we used before. Dropping the DM to a centre back, making him a libero. And let's have a look at the team we're going to go with for this game. We're going with Uzlak, Shabalala, Azim, Akala, Adam Martin Lazaro, Renato Augusto, Ruben Neves, Mendez, Xerxi and Arvizo. Zaniolo and Savic are injured for this game unfortunately otherwise they would have been occupying those positions. But we're facing Vitesse today in the very first league game of the season. So I'm pretty confident in this one. And we're off. 
It's good to get started for this season. Very interested to see if we can build on the success of last season, get further in the Champions League. That's the aim anyway. Lazaro with a throw in, finds Ruben Neves. Back to Lazaro, cross into the box. Xerxes, header just wide. That was a good chance already, wasn't it? All right, here's the ball played forward to Xerxes. On you go, Xerxes. You've got space and time. Uh, he takes a shot and it's going to go out for a corner. All right, Aaron is taking this corner. Puts it in. Oh, that was close. Alcala was close to getting on the end of that. Aaron Martin has picked up an injury. Hopefully it's not a bad one, but we do have Alex Tellez who can come on. 20 minutes gone in this match and we've not really created that much clear chances. It's a bit worrying. Another corner. Tellez will take this one. Puts it in. Shabalala. Just a whisker away. Zaro to Rezo. And you go Rezo. Oh, skipping past players. He's now into the box. Shot wide. We need more. We need to do more. Demand more. Corner. Here's Tellez. Going to put it in. Cleared away. Renato Gusto controls this. This is nice. He's into the box. Back to Shabalala. And this is nice play. Back to Azim. What can he do? Nice ball to Lazaro. Lazaro shot. All right, we're getting more shots on target. That's good. Neves into the box. Mendes. Mendes again. Oh. Oh, that's a goal. That's a goal. Offsides. Oh. <laughs> it's offsides. Phew. And that's half time. Nil, nil. Not the best start. I'm going to thrash my arm saying I'm far from pleased with that. Renato Augusto. Come on, show me what you have. Show me what you have. Mendes. Loads of space out on the right for Lazaro. Gets the ball in. Arezzo has the ball in the box. He's taken down. Ruben Neves now has it. Penalty. I think it is a penalty. The referee is going to have a look at it on the wheel all video player. But I think that's a penalty for Willem. We'll see what they say. It's not a penalty for Willem. That was, that's ridiculous. That looked like it should have been a penalty. Right, I'm going to go very attacking. I'm going to demand more. Xerxes has been playing poorly, so Garcia can come on for him. Renato Augusto is also playing poorly. I will give Quintero a little run out. I know he's going to be going to Spurs, but we need to still win this game. Ball forward, Xerxes. Nod on to Arezzo. He could be in here, he could be in here. He takes a long shot. He gets the ball back to Arezzo. That's the chance that Arezzo scores 9 times out of 10. Go a bit more direct from a passing. Brilliant, Quintero. Nicking in there to steal the ball. Will they ball forward to Arezzo? Brilliant ball forward to Garcia. Gazzar, he one, one on one. Yeah! Yes! Oh, Garcia. Oh, Garcia getting the key goal. One on one with the keeper, you always fancy Garcia. Quintero is key there, stealing the ball. Quick passes, Arezzo over the top. Garcia, lovely control on his chest. One on one with the keeper. He's not missing that. All right, all right. Willem are off and running. I like this. I like this. I'll just notch it down to attacking for the last 10 minutes rather than very attacking. All right, six minutes left. Throw in. Ruben Neves has the ball out to Lazaro. Gets the cross in. Arezzo, get in. Yes. Yes, that's the game sealed now. Arezzo with his first goal of the season. This was a nice play. Ruben Neves out to Lozaro. Loads of room on the right. Gets the cross in. Arezzo, flick on. Keeper gets a hand to it, but not enough to keep it out. Arezzo with his first goal of the season. A corner. Here's Alex Tellez. Puts it in. Ooh, was bouncing in the box there. Nobody was able to get on the end of that. And Tellez nicely recovers to stop the counter-attack. But Cruz has the ball here. Cross it. Oh, it's a... Oh, great save from the keeper! Uzlak with his very first big save. That looked like a definite goal. Great save from the youngster. Corner here for Vitez. It's in. Cleared away by Arezzo. All right. All right. Free kick for Vitez here. Put into the box. Keeper comes and claims that. For the very first game of this keeper, I am impressed with him. Be the last chance with a corner. Tellez puts it in. Alcala straight at the keeper. He boots up the park. We've got less than 30 seconds to do something here. Oh, he's past him. Oh! Ah, oh, no. Ah, I can't believe we conceded right at the end. Not the best here. Is that my new guy? That's my new player. Ah, he did so well with the first attempt. Couldn't keep that one out. 
But that's it. That is the first game of the season done and dusted. A 2-1 win for Willem. Really should have been a lot more comfortable for us. But a win is a win. I'll take it. Aaron Martin is out for three to four weeks. Not the worst injury in the world. We do have Alex Tellez. It's annoying that he's going to miss a good couple of weeks. And Arezzo shines as Willem Trey win. First win of the season. Nice to get that in the bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And cheerio.